Hi guys, good evening all guys. So good evening. So welcome to Cyber Rock. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Okay. So our previous lecture we covered the web authentication method and Mac authentication method. Now I'm going to now I'm going to start the uh, dot one is authentication. This is my existing policy, the UEA dot one policy. This service. This is our existing policy. I need to create a separate space policy. I will show you how to do this, how to work, and the why I use this policy. Just moment. I'm just. I have one notepad. So. Just make. I make it one more things. So, what is dot one x? Okay. First of all, what is a triple A? What is a triple A? I triple A dot one x. So, what is I triple A dot one x? A device attempting to connect to a LAN or WAN require an authentication mechanism like I triple A dot one x. is an okay it is a standard it is a port based network access control it is a port based network access control to provides a protect authentication for secure network access to dot one x what is i triple dot one x the device attempting to connect to a lan or wan require an authentication mechanism that means i triple dot one x it is a standard for port based network access control provide protect authentication for secure and network access okay this is the our uh, dot one x okay and uh, dot one x network is a uh, different from home network okay It's a dot one x network is a different from the home network in a one major way. It has an authenticated server called as a radius server. Okay, please carefully, all guys, please listen carefully. Consider this point because dot one x very important protocols for in the radius servers. And a dot one x network is a different from a home network. Home network is a plain network. These are going to authenticate with the sir. Uh, uh, Without going to authenticate the different uh, third-party server, okay, it's still username password going to authenticate. You need to able to access your Wi-Fi. You need to able to your LAN network. It's a plain network, but dot one is a different network. It's a view more secure networks. That triple A server is called a trade server. One more thing, I repeat on that point, please. And dot one X. is a network is different from a net uh, home network in a major way it is an authenticated server called as radius server it checks what happens the dot one x it what is happen is what is use of the radius it checks a user credential to see if they are an active member of the organization and depending on the network policies grants user are very uh, varying level of access to the network that means that is going to grant to the uh, access to the network checking the parameter of the policy checking the username of the uh, role of the policy this is allow unique credential or certificate to be used per user okay it dot one is a more secure it's a more secure port based authentication NAC access control. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Dot one X is an authentication protocol to allow the access network to access network to network with the user use of radius server. One more thing. Dot one X and radius. Dot one X and radius based security is considered the 
gold standard to secure wireless or wire network. One more thing, what is, I am just explaining the, how the Drupali works. Now I am going to explain the, how does it works, how does it works, okay. 802.1x is a network authentication protocol. 802.1x is a network authentication protocol that open opens port for network access when an organization authenticate a user identity and authorize them for access to the network. Manoj, you don't. I am not repeating multiple times. Please listen carefully. Okay. Dot one x. How does work? Dot one x is a network authentication protocol that open port for network access when an organization authenticate a user identity and authorize them for access to the network. The user identity is determined based on their credential or certificate. Which is confirmed by radius server which is confirmed by radius server the radius server is able to do this by uh, communicating with the organization directory that means uh, ad server lab server sml saml server any other type of servers 802 gives a device access to protect site of the network after authentication Okay, so I just explain you one second. So this is us, our uh, I am just explain to you. This is our uh, UK AD server. This is a AP AD server. This is a CPPM server. This is a guest user. This is a employee wired user. Okay. This is our switch. This is a router or any other devices. So Rajesh, this is a Rajesh, okay. This Rajesh need to access to your internal network, any application, okay. Most of the, the uh, network, uh, they, they need to log in your uh, domain, PC, okay. So Rade, Rajesh, when trying to enter the username passwords, enter the username password over here okay that request come to the switch I just show you switch this is our switch log when the dot one x is configured okay this is our dot one x authentication this user authenticated with the user of dot one x okay map means a mac authentication this is not a secure to the dot one x dot one x 100 percent secure okay so this is our dot one x user so you can show the lock for the use the, this is a switch lock when the port uh, nac configures are done on particular port the user need to be authenticate that authentication tested over here a domain method and identity this is a mac address this is a, this is our uh, log for the switch log when going to configure when going to uh, check the so authentication on the Cisco switch you can able to see this screen okay this is a screen this is a dot one x authentication method dot one x is a totally hundred percent secure method okay so when Rajesh try to authenticate with the user Rajesh entering the any username passwords so Rajesh he try to enter able to access, connect your internal network okay so when going to this sending their pack this is a sending to this username password this session going to authenticate with the user try to authenticate their internal servers that ua usk internal server that username password checking to this that request uh, see in our ad server with authenticate with the cppn okay that rajesh try to authenticate Sending the packet, try to authenticate, going to packet switch, switch to going to direct internal and going to CPPM. In the CPPM, they are checking the 
their username and password. Sending to, sending to that packet to the AD server. They are checking. They are sending to AD, USK AD server that Raj's name is there or not. We check your AD server. AD server acknowledges Raj's is there. So then after acknowledging that user, that user Raj's username accept in the your clear pass. After escaping, they are authenticated and able to access you the network. If the Raj's user not present in the AD server, so di directly CPPM pushing the profile deny access profile. When going to reject the deny access profile, that means that reject the Raj's not able to access the network. Dot one x only authenticated with the AD. AD credential, not a local credential. If the AD credential not using that particular employee, so that means that the user not not going to log in your internal networks. They should be use only in, uh, internal AD server username password. If they are not using the AD server username passwords, that any administrator uh, try to log in the administrator accounts, admin account. They are not able to access any internal application, not going to log in your internal networks. Okay. So, dot one x 100% secure and port based security. What is use of if? You know the if? I think you are using the if. One second. 